beekeepers and so forth. Any vessel in that area, able to assist or provide further information or request to contact this unit. This is United Coast Guard 6 Beast Out. Ship's Log, Saturday, April 17th, uh, 2021, 3.15 p.m. We're anchored in Provost Harbor, Stewart Island. I'm on the bow cleaning the windows. Um, my wife's in the cabin um, washing the inside of the windows. And the, we always keep the VHF radio on Channel 16, even when we're at anchor. For awake, our radio's on. And uh, she hears a distress call come in. And they, they say a boat ran aground, it's taken on water, and they're right out Provost Harbor. She yells out the window to me, hey, honey, there's somebody in trouble in Provost Harbor. I look around. I don't see anybody. Um, I come in. I listen to the radio, and I hear uh, the Coast Guard talking to the Nor'wester that they had ran aground, were taking on water. The bilge pumps couldn't keep up. I run forward and uh, start pulling the anchor, and my wife gets on the radio with the Coast Guard and the Nor'wester to let them know that we're going to be there like in five minutes. Literally, we were right around the corner. As we approach the vessel, um, they were using the kayaks um, to try and haul all their gear um, to shore because they had nowhere else to go and they didn't want it to get wet when the boat sank. They had two kayaks, so the, uh, the first mate was uh, putting all of his gear into the, the, the kayak and towing the second kayak with the stuff. As soon as they saw us, they cheered. He changed course and headed directly to us. Uh, I looked at the tides. It was right at slack, low tide, zero water. This is the worst time they could have been, been there over that reef. So um, I was leery about how close I could get to him. I got as, as shallow as six foot on the draft. And I was like, I can't, I can't go any further. I have no idea because that's not an area of water that you want to be in. <clears throat> After about 10 to 15 minutes, the Whatcom County Sheriff showed up um, to provide assistance as well. I was so thankful that they were there. Um, they had a rigid inflatable boat, which was uh, better suited to go into the shallow water. The Whatcom County Sheriff was able to offload the rest of the gear on the um, bow of the boat that was uh, rising quite high, as you can see. So that boat right there ran aground. The floorboards buckle underneath the galley. Water's pouring in. You can see the water coming out of the... Uh, sides but the bilge pumps can't keep up the bowels been rising that's the whatcom county sheriff right there uh, we pulled up anchor we were around right the corner for most we heard it on the vhf radio so we came over and uh, helping them haul off a lot of their uh, gear and stuff they were out filming uh, some things that's some pretty expensive cameras on board and we've got a bunch of other help that showed up too um, for everybody this is a picture of where we're at so this, this spot right there is where not to be, and it's actually uh, just past low tide. So it was the worst time to be here, as far as trying to run through that spot. right there in the shoals. Vessels unloading people and personnel and equipment right now. Uh, bow is definitely rising. She's taking on water faster than the pumps can keep her. Uh, Roger, thank you. Roger, Captain, did you say that the uh, people are exiting onto a sheriff's boat? Uh, right now, the equipment is being re removed from the vessel onto the sheriff's boat. They are communicating uh, all personnel on the vessel still on it with life vests on. And uh, 
four vessels standing by. Roger, get a copy on all. Thank you very much. That is Whatcom County Sheriff. They actually have everybody on board. There's nobody left on the boat. And the boat is still on the ground. The tide's coming in. But eventually the boat pumps aren't going to be able to keep up. Well, thankfully, uh, nobody's hurt. We've got a ton of their stuff on the boat. Now we're the luggage compartment. <laughs> Let's see those bilge pumps working overtime. I'm just hanging out at the edge of the shoal. Okay, you're calling outside part of your fast with the it's a little bit drift. This is Victoria Coast Radio. 64 feet of water, which is good, but uh, uh, try calling, contact your boat is going to be about right there, right there, right now in the middle of that. I don't know who else to call them. Transferred all their stuff back to them, and the sheriff and take them to wherever they need to go. Sagra Beach is down, Tobo Yes, Brady Harbor. We're coming on scene. Is that the sailboat coming it wants to know? Coast Guard helicopter up there flying around, checking it out. Boat was sinking around the corner. We're back in Provost, back where we were anchored initially. We were just sitting there at anchor on the radio. Call for help came in, we went and pulled anchor because we were literally like five minutes away right around the corner. Let's zoom in and see the Coast Guard helicopter right there. I always leave the VHF radio on if I'm an anchor, at least during the daytime. I love them Coast Guard.
Ship's Log, Sunday, April 18th, 2021. As we got up, pulled anchor, and headed out of Provost, I can't tell you how sad I was knowing that when we came around the corner, we would see this beautiful, beautiful 72-foot wooden yacht, half underwater. But on another note, I'm very happy that we actually decided to anchor in Provost Harbor. We were going to go to Roach Harbor. We were able to come on scene rather quickly, which made them feel so much better. You could see the relief on their faces. But it's still a sad sight to see. As I was finishing this video up today, I was sent a link to a GoFundMe page that was started, that was started for this boat. I'm just going to read a little bit that they had on here because it brought me to tears. All the history that there is in this boat that I didn't realize what boat it was when uh, we were helping with the rescue. After years of major restoration on the 1932 Norwester, which served in the 40s for the U.S. Navy during World War II, the actor, uh, it was actor John Wayne's first boat and was an ocean research vessel in the San Juans. Diving and salvage crews are making a plan to have her craned and barged to her dedicated shipwrights to be accessed for damage. The prospects are not good, and if it were any other boat, the scrapyard would be the first thought. For the Norwester's history owner's stewards, and for the boat's current mission to help raise funds for cancer research, the Norwester must be saved. I think the saddest thing about this whole story was that the Norwester yacht was on her maiden voyage to cinematically capture all her restored beauty and planned to broadcast her new venture with a mission of raising funds for the John Wayne Cancer Foundation. High-end charters were planned and the goal was to donate 100% of the proceeds to the foundation. They were on a photo shoot. I remember them telling us that because they had all this equipment. And now I realize that what they were, go what they were shooting how important this mission was. It was estimated by divers that it would cost approximately about over a million dollars to restore the ship and to be able to return it to the water. Right now what they're doing, they have a GoFundMe page and I'm going to link it in the About Me page, um, about this video page, that they're trying to raise $250,000 to start, which would get her rescued from, the sink, from sinking immediately. While the owners have a million dollar pol pollution policy, the WQIS insurance company is so far refusing to remove the boat and prevent further damage to the environment, which is what makes this outcry for support so important. Um, if you want to donate, I'm gonna go ahead and link the page in the bio below. They have said that they will, uh, if they don't raise that much enough money that they need, they're gonna go ahead and uh, give all the proceeds to the John Wayne Cancer Foundation. So if you wanna help, please do. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell for notifications so that you get notified when I upload a new video. And until next time, stay tuned for more channel surfing. Have a great day.